Hey, I came to Happy Home Paradise to order some things and I've been time traveling so I didn't realize that it's Monday in game and oh my god look at this it is like six in the morning and there is a rave going on I didn't realize the DJ KK rave goes on <laughs> why on earth are they dancing at six in the morning like you know what Oh my God, Sherb and Kyle, why are they here? <laughs> Let me join in on the fun. Like, woo! <laughs> Azealia's here too, by the way, and so is Melba. Look at Melba in the corner over here getting turned up. She's not even looking at me. <laughs> oh my God, I live. I absolutely live. Nah, this is wild. You know what? Like, you know what? While I'm here, where's my little boy? Nico, it's been so long since I came up here. I haven't played Happy Home Paradise in so long. Um, Nico, let's go dancing. Let's get turned up. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Why am I turned the other way? Turn around. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh my God, Poncho and Groucho are here. I like to think that they're brothers and look at them hanging out together. <gasps> yes. Oh, this is it. This is the party of the century. All right, that's fun, but we need to get back to building. Here is Abel Sisters right over here. I really love how like cute and cozy <laughs> the whole vibe of everything is. So we might as well continue on with the decorating. First things first, I need to add this path back, Ugh, finally. I just like, I really like how close it is to the beach. I don't know, like it's just a very beachy vibe overall. I think that's what I'm trying to go for. I ordered some hangers because I didn't have any. That's that's why I ran over to Papillon Paradise because you can order more items from there. Don't remember how many houses you have to design to do that, but it's a great feature. I'm sorry, Margie was like chilling in the background and now all of a sudden she's thinking, it is six in the morning, what do you want? Oh, she wants me to sell something. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, okay, she just gave it to me for free. Why, thank you, thank you, Margie, that's a kind gift, the sushi chef hats. She's just chilling at six in the morning, which by the way, Whitney is also awake at six in the morning. It's not actually six in the morning. I just like to play in early in the morning so that my villagers don't bother me. I'm pretty sure she's crafting, but I've noticed lately that like, I'm having more villagers like wake up early in the morning, which is so funny. Cause like usually they don't and they always like to make note of it too. They'll be like, oh my God, for some reason I just decided to wake up today. That's like one of my favorite little features from New Horizons is that sometimes your villagers have like all nighters or like sometimes they'll wake up really early in the morning. Like next time you play late night or early morning, just like, just like watch out, you know, see if any of your villagers that don't usually wake up early or stay up late, see if they do it. Like specifically lazies at late night or like cranky's early morning. I am now <laughs> gonna start decorating again. And can I just say, like, I know a lot of people really liked what I did with Fallbrook before that whole like rustic European vibe. This is so much better though, in my opinion. And this is my island, okay? I'm literally looking at this and I'm just like, damn, it's about time my island look like this. You know, this is what I deserve. Truly, I am so happy with the way the island is turning out. Like it has been so, so long since I've been like this excited to play and like build and design. Cause even over on Willow, everything that I was doing on Willow, the entire time I was just like, oh, I wish I could be doing this on Fallbrook instead. Because like the vibes of it and everything just works with Fallbrook so much more, you know? I bought this clothing rack. I think this clothing rack might be too big though. I brought the other smaller ones. There is no, oh, why did you go over there? Excuse me. There's enough room, right? If I put them here, like it should be enough room. We'll put like one like that. And then I think, I think just the one is okay. I bought a few colors just to like see, but honestly, I kind of vibe with that one the most. So I think I'm gonna go with it. So there was no need for me to buy the extra ones, but who cares? I do what I want. This should be a surprise to nobody. And I think honestly, even though there's a storage shed right there, like I kind of want to put the other clothing rack right here. Um, maybe like that. If it's turned around this way, it could look 
No, that looks really random. <laughs> Maybe the other one. Where is it? The bigger one. Uh, no, this does block it away. I'm not gonna do that. Never mind. I think this is cute for now. I might just like zhuzh it up off camera. This is Able Sisters. I wanna keep it very minimal too. Cause I feel like my problem with this island specifically back then was that I was just overcrowding it. There was just so much going on. And I feel like now that I've designed Willow, I've done both renditions of Blue, now I've coming in as like a completely new person who knows not to like over design, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I feel like we could actually go into this now and like have the most perfect vibe achievable. I'm gonna put some hedges back here uh, just to kind of like fill the space and also so that the hedge itself just looks flesh with Able Sisters, it doesn't just look like it ends there. So I guess like the plan would be, because I will share right now, like I want this kind of area to feel like a plaza extension. And then I want the path to come up this way. And I'm planning on putting my Nook's Cranny here. This is where my Able Sisters was originally. Now I'm thinking of moving Nook's Cranny here because I think that could be like cute and fun and kind of have this area feel super duper urban, you know? I'm thinking putting some like custom designs over here. Like I've been using these stone patterns everywhere. I don't know, should I use it here too? Cause like I was thinking of not doing it, but like it kind of, I feel like it could work as like a cute little sidewalk that leads up to the shop itself. Put one there and then maybe like another one here and then have it continue over down like so. You know what? <laughs> No, I was gonna eat the first anniversary cake. That's a bad idea. I'm gonna eat the birthday cake instead and then this mom cake. The fact that you eat the birthday cake as a whole with the plate and the candles and like you're perfect and ready to go. Again, like I said before, I will say it again, Animal Crossing characters, very, very powerful. Y'all better beware. It's amazing. Melba, oh my God, Melba, hello. How's it going? I'm glad for weather like this. That's perfect for air drying my laundry. Oh, oh. Okay, outfit change, look at her. Getting right into what she needs to do. Six in the morning, Miss Girl has her day planned out. I'm essentially doing like the exact same thing that I did over on Eldnew. <laughs> so <laughs> I feel like nobody should be surprised by the end results. Like I'm putting a tree here. I'm gonna grab a utility pole, put the pole there. Oh, I guess I should do that right now. This town specifically, the way I'm designing it, it just makes me very, very excited for summer, which it's summertime right now. Like, I really just want to go for like the perfect summertime vibe with this island. I, I'm i just like happy. <laughs> it feels like kind of how it was back in the day. Like I'm just being reminded of the old new days, which is so weird because like I said, it was only two years ago, two years ago. But for some reason, I'm feeling nostalgia for that era of like my channel and stuff. <laughs> Which, like, I don't know what that says about me. Not that I really care, but, like, still, you know? But one thing that I want to do this time around instead, uh, last time I used, like, two little bikes, you know, because I was like, ooh, Abel and Mabel, they like to, like, use their bikes, the pink and the blue one. What if they upgraded, you know, and from bikes to, like, cars or maybe scooters? Like, should I do a scooter or should I do the car? I kind of want to do the car. I never use, I rarely use, I was going to say I never use it, but I do. I rarely use it though. The car item in this game. Like how cute is this? Ooh, just like a little car right here. Do we think Mabel and Sable are reverse parkers or front parkers? I feel like Mabel would reverse park, but Sable would park front ways. But Eh, it doesn't matter. It's not like they can actually drive in this game anyways. So I'm basically trying to like create a little parking lot situation. That's kind of the vibe that I'm going with right now. And then what do I want to put here? Cause originally like I was going to put a car. Maybe I could put like a bench instead because I don't want to put two cars. I feel like they would carpool, you know, especially on this island. Like what, what would they need the car for to begin with? We could put a bike, but I don't want to, like I already have so many bikes nearby. That's the reason why I'm shying away from that. I think a bench could be a cute thing. Like maybe this pink bench. Do I want the pink one or the white one? We'll put the pink one, you know, cause pink. Pink is a cute color. Cute, that can be in there. And then I wanted to put the leaf pile. Will it fit here? I hope it does. 
no. Gosh, placing items in this game can get so annoying at times because it's like, no, I want you one step closer, but ugh, it's just a lot of like weird and awkward maneuvering. And it's so annoying with the leaf pile, especially because it's like here, I want it there. But if I'm standing here and I place it down, it'll be like, there's no room, but like, hello, you can walk through the item. Like just put it under my feet. I won't care. That's cute. That's cute. But I'm going to get rid of that bench for a sec because I would like to customize. Where is my workbench? <laughs> I hate that you can't like sort your items the way you can in Happy Home Paradise. In fact, in general, like with this game, there's so many like quality of life improvements that they brought over for Happy Home Paradise. You're able to like design things easier. You're able to ex access like the storage for your villager homes of like every item you've ever bought like a catalog basically but you can't do that for your own house it's so strange to me like they have all these quality of life improvements but they don't implement them on the main island what's up with that <laughs> nintendo what's good how dare you let's customize the plastic bench which by the way why does this plastic bench require seven just to paint something on the bench we'll do the hearts we'll do the hearts plastic hearts oh my god shout out to my Cyrus. now what do i want to put here. Maybe another clothes rack. Oh yeah, I was like worried that, cause like this tree is here. So I like, you can't really see them. Maybe I can put more here. We'll put the hanger rack like that. Maybe we'll turn that one around, push it in. So it's like a little market, <laughs> like a little outdoor market. I guess I could get rid of this one instead then. Planting more bushes because I don't know what else to put over here. I think that kind of works. I might get rid of one bush because I want to put a fence here instead. Let's grab one of the newer ones. Like I'm using a lot of 1.0 items here when like the 2.0 update has been out for so long. If I'm getting inspired by like older builds, let me at least like modernize them. Like let's grab a new fence that was introduced. Maybe, ooh, maybe the wedding fence. Oh my God, wait, what if I put the stone fence here and then swap out the Stone fences over here with the wedding fence. Ooh, see, that could be cute. Does this look cuter? Yeah, this definitely does. It's so Able Sisters vibe, you know? I want to, like, do more to this just so that, like, it doesn't feel super empty. But, like, I'm really trying to, like, not do too much. I think I just need, like, one item. Do I have one of those manhole covers? I think that would look perfect. I'd rather just craft one. I am not in the mood to look for items anymore. <laughs> I wish there was a search feature in your storage, which like, yeah, I guess that wouldn't make sense in real life. Oh my God. And like, speaking of quality of life, that's, oh, right. I, why did I press customize first? No, you need to craft the manhole cover and then customize. Quality of life improvements. Another like shocking improvement after Happy Home Paradise was like roommates on the mainland, or at least like, you know, I was designing my villager homes earlier. The fact that we can't expand the room size, that's the biggest missed opportunity. Like being able to renovate your villager homes, big, big deal. That is something I've always wanted. So I'm happy that it's there, but like ways to improve on it. Why aren't we able to upgrade the room size? Why aren't we able to make it bigger or smaller? It just surprised me so much that that wasn't included. I guess there has to be like some reason, right? Maybe there is like a legitimate reason why they didn't do it. I've talked about like Animal Crossing spinoffs and Animal Crossing ideas that I wanted. One other spinoff that I was surprised never happened was like Tomodachi Life. When they first announced that they were getting a mobile game, for Animal Crossing, I thought it was basically going to be like Tomodachi Life, but Animal Crossing version. So when the game actually came out and it wasn't like that, I was actually surprised. But imagine like a Tomodachi Life style Animal Crossing game where it's just like all your villagers hanging out in an apartment and you just go and like check in on them one by one, which like essentially Pocket Camp is like that. But the villagers are quite stale in pocket camp. So I think I'm going to leave it at that right now for Able Sisters because I really like how it turned out. That's this. Is this the end of the video? Probably not because there's still a lot of steam left in me to build. Actually, while I'm here, one thing that I would like to do because I know I'm going to have to connect the two path pieces. So like, let me get a head start on that. Let's just do this there. And that serves as like a little entrance to Able Sisters. And then the stone path will just like extend down. I mean, like, I guess I could do that now. Cause like what I'm planning on doing is having it come down right up to the hedge. 
Like that. Yeah, let's just fill the path out. Let's just fill the path out. Why not? Okay, I think that's like a good thing for now. So we'll leave it there for now. I time traveled once again to the next day because off camera, I moved my Nook's cranny to right over here. Ooh, and I guess like today, right now, we're kind of going to decorate around the area. Why is this rock here? How dare the rock chose there of all places? Why is it like every single time so far, I want to go build in an area, a rock spawns right where I'm about to build. What is up with that? Is this even the money rock? Is this even worth my time right now? Hello, are you a money rock? No, thank you for wasting my time. And speaking of a waste of time, Lopez, do you have anything you'd like to say? Perfect weather and a random meetup with my bestie? When, ha when has he started calling people bestie? Sir, what are you, what is your game right now? I am gonna keep my mouth shut for the time being. Anyways, before I get started on recording, I actually wanna head over to Harv's Island really quick because I actually need to customize a bunch of my items. And oh my God, like I'm gonna rave once again about having an island for a long time. Harv's Island, I have everything fully unlocked over there. I forgot how good of a feature that is in this game. I still think there's a missed opportunity to not have the shops upgrade. Every single shop there looks like they could be upgraded aside from like Katrina, what else could she offer? Oh my God, that's the real Rosetta Stone. I don't know if I have it already donated or not, but like I'm willing to buy it. Now that I'm here and looking at everything, I'm just like, was there anything that I needed to customize that I couldn't already customize? Um, I, maybe I'm over preparing right now. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be here to customize my items right now. Maybe that's what I'm realizing. Let me at least customize this because I do want the blue one. Um, I like that one a lot. Probably only going to do one more because I'm really not in the mood to sit here for a long time again. Wow, I brought out all these items and I'm not even going to do all of them. Okay, what's like the most important one here that I would like to customize right now? We'll do this trash can because there's a lot of color options and I don't have a lot of them currently. Don't have the yellow one though. I actually really like the yellow one. Cute, the piss colored trash can. Maybe I'll use that in today's build. This Rosetta Stone is real. I'm like 90% sure I already donated one, but like just in case, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. Thank you, Red, thank you. Oh, uh, it's not even gonna come until tomorrow. I forgot about that. Is it worth doing the raffle while I'm here too? Hi, I don't wanna talk to you, no. Give me the raffle. We'll do like a few rounds of this because I like to grab all these like little cute items just so that you can use that little bear baggie as decoration around the island. And if I could get like the pocketbook item or something like that, a fan, okay, the fan works too. I like those items as well to like hold around and like use as decoration. It's cute. We'll do like a few more rounds of this. This is fun. I don't know how this kind of raffle would like work in real life. Imagine just like doing a raffle to win like boba. Like where's the boba? Why is the boba coming from his pants, by the way. Like, can we talk about that? He's pulling the food that you eat out of his pockets. He doesn't even have pockets. He's wearing an apron and nothing else. There's like no pockets on that apron. This shit's coming out of his ass. How fitting that he got the chocolate one. Oh my God. <laughs> Do not eat Red's raffle prizes. We might as well talk to Katrina while we're here. I don't ever do like the luck system in this game. Katrina, please tell me my luck. Please tell me I have good luck for today. If I get bad luck, <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed off. There is a taper who devours bad dreams, but she cannot devour her own dreams. She's having trouble sleeping. No, no, no. <laughs> I just said I didn't want that one. Fuck. Are you kidding me, Katrina Kapoor? Are you kidding me? If you want to escape disaster, I could possibly purify you for a significant payment. How much? It's like 10,000, right? Ugh. I have a million bells. I don't care. Take my bells. That's the one that I did not want today because when you go to eat food, less points come out of it. So like something that would usually cost five points, it would only be like three, I'm pretty sure. Harvey. Actually, do you two have anything you'd like to say? Harriet. Oh, welcome. Take your time here, sugar. Anything else? Anything of importance? Harv gets so happy when you come by to visit, sugar. 
anything about you. Harv gets so happy when you come by to visit Shrek. Girl, talk about yourself. I don't care about your man. After all my years in the shop, I never got used to being outside. But this new lifestyle is just about the most invigorating thing I've ever done. Who needs indoors? So true, Harriet. I wish she had more hairstyles. That one person on Twitter who said that Harriet should have just became a wig specialist, I agree. I agree with that one for sure. Imagine if she sold wigs. Lace front. <laughs> Oh my god, Lace Front. Every time I think of Lace Front, it just reminds me of America's Next Top Model, that one dude who got the Lace Front beard. And like, I just, I kind of feel bad for him. And then I remember that he was also homophobic as hell to Will on that same season. Then I'm like, it's what he deserves. But like, I feel bad because like, he got this shitty beard at first. And that's the one that went viral. I'm like 90% sure I remember them fixing it later on in the season and it looked passable. It didn't look good. It, it never looked good. And I don't agree with many things that Tyra said, but that rant that she had about like him being homophobic, um, yeah, she, she did what she needed to do. Shout out to Will. Lennox was robbed that season though. I will always say that. I guess like this is kind of the last area that I have by residence services. We could just spend some time decorating it because like, um, if you haven't noticed, like before by resident services, I had all my villager homes, but I've gotten rid of all of them and I just kind of turned it into like more of an urban city area. Also, I just said that that's the last part, but no, I have this area over here as well that I need to decorate. I don't know what I want to do here just yet. We'll figure it out eventually. But yeah, Nook's Cranny, as you can see, it's right over. What? Where did he come from? Poppy, were you watching Lopez from behind the building? Oh my God. Screw. Lo oh, oh yeah. Of course. Oh, he's lying. He's lying straight to my face. Screw Lopez. Like you did not mean that. You didn't even say it with your chest. Poppy, what are you doing? It's my second time running into you today. The first was in your dreams. Oh, and now he's trying to flirt with me. You see, he's trying to backpedal. He just spent all morning watching Lopez from behind the building. And now that I caught him red handed, he's trying to flirt with me to like distract me. First, you hang out with Melba in the plaza. Now you're side eyeing Lopez from the back over there and like checking him out while he's working out. The boys on this island, man. Whitney, why are you thinking? Speaking of the boys, here we have the girls. I was having such a lovely stroll, but my legs got so tired. Here's an idea. Perhaps I could rest at your... Um, I'm sorry. There is literally nothing at my house. So that would not be a good idea. Thank you so much. Look at him. Now he's staring at him from the front and he's mouth agape, walking away after staring at him working out. Poppy, stand up. Poppy, get the fuck up right now. You are better than this. Don't go back. Walk the other way. No, distraction. Turn around. Yeah, I keep checking up on you today because clearly you need help. Lopez? Lopez? Is your dream still to be a crazy cool gamer girl? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Gamer girl, huh? Why are you walking by us now? He's like eavesdropping on our conversation because he knows Poppy is simping for him. He's simping for me. He Like, look at him. He's walking back and forth. God, just stop stalking us. You both need to walk away. Get some space. Look at them making eye contact once again. He's just following him. This is embarrassing for both of you. I cannot. I can't. He's as soon as I walk away. Oh, and now Lopez is making eye contact with him. What is this? What is this? Lopez. I mean, I'd rather Lopez be simping for Poppy than me. But Poppy, you can do so much better. Uh-uh. We need to get into building. Gonzo's over here studying Poppy's bugs. Okay. I don't know why I brought that up. That adds no importance to what I'm doing. I'm coming down here because I want to grab a few trees. I... What was I going to do? Oh, shit. I actually forgot. I think the first area that I would like to work on is where I'm standing right now. I kind of want to make like a little situation. I am going to steal my mom's homemade cake to do this this time. We're going to eat an entire cake. And because I purified my soul, it gives me five points instead of two or three or whatever it was. OK, so I kind of want to like do a little thingamabobby over here. The plan essentially is I kind of had this on the island before. In case you haven't noticed, by the way, like Fallbrook 3.0 is basically just reverting back to Fallbrook 1.0, but like slightly better. <laughs> so I had like a little thing over here 
with like the benches that were just facing towards the beach. It used to be in this bottom corner over here. I'm essentially gonna do something very similar to that, but just kind of have it come up until here instead by this little nook. So that way you have access to the beach from over here. Will I actually decorate the beaches this time around? Stay tuned because I don't know at this point. First thing though, I would like to grab a few trees. This is another funny thing that I'm gonna be doing. Um, like I said, I'm just bringing things over from other parts of the island. See this little get up right over here with the log bench in the thing? Yeah, we're just gonna, I'm just literally gonna bring this over. I think it's really cute and my nook's cranny is now over there. So like we might as well have this path go over there too. I'm gonna bring that and like have this little grass trail go on with the turnip. I feel like I'm gonna piss people off with this, but like I'm gonna make it very unsymmetrical because fun fact about me, I really just don't like symmetry. I don't like when it's like intentionally symmetrical. Like that is just something that kind of annoys me. Why did you go that way? So like, yeah, we're just gonna do that. Get up. Thank you. Oh my God, now I'm telling myself to get up. It's so rough out here today. And then I'm gonna grab the grass trails and do basically what I did over there, over here. We'll have the grass trails kind of run up this way. And then the leaf pile just kind of here in this corner. I'm using a lot of green leaf piles everywhere. Um, it's gonna look really awkward in like <laughs> the summertime or in the fall time, sorry, when the leaves are no longer green. Although like it would make sense to just use yellow leaf piles because like when leaves fall on the ground, they turn yellow, right? As I'm slowly clearing out this area, the lag has been disappearing. I know once I get rid of these simple panels over here, it's gonna be so much nicer to run around back here. And also look at my fake window designs. They're all over the road. It actually does look cool on the road. You can make like a little, like if I were to do like a garage sale type thing, Ooh, I could put like items in each square. How do I wanna position these trees? Do I wanna do one, two, oh. There's actually only one way to do it, okay. We'll put hardwood tree there, hardwood tree here, and cedar tree like so. I'm gonna grab two and see if I can actually place both of them because I would like to have two benches just so that multiple people are able to sit down. I want there to be enough room though. I don't think there's gonna be, don't sit down. I said other people sit down, not me. Okay, like I wanted to put it here because I wanna fence this area in so it's separated from the rest of the path, but it looks like there's only room for one bench when I do that. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm gonna push the bench back there because I would like to get a little, it's not really little, but I don't know why I keep saying little. I'm just one of those people who calls everything little. Street lamp. Do I want to do the street lamp or like the clock tower? Can I find the clock tower? It's right here. Okay, which one? Because the street lamp would be cute because it would, again, kind of illuminate the, the place in the nighttime. But I like the clock too, because the clock is more useful. Maybe I can put the clock over here. That has to actually look kind of cute there. So maybe I'll leave it. Wait, Gonzo, don't sit down yet. Sorry, I picked it up because then Gonzo would have sat on it. He's waiting. He's waiting for me to put the bench down so he can sit on it. Wait, wait, please just wait. He walked away, that's even better. Um, Street lamp there, thing there. And then something to put something on. Like we'll put this log stool and then I'll put something on the log stool and then something by the log stool. I'll do these bottles. No, I don't want empty bottles. Do I have a book? I don't have like just a single book, do I? Do I have a pocket book? Oh, I have a few already. Pocket magazines and pocket books. We'll put the log stool back there and then we'll put this. Should I place it? How does it look placed? Ooh, actually, See, now that I'm seeing that, I could put that like there. I can't put it in front of the, oh, I can put it in front of the bench. I'm gonna just push it <laughs> instead of picking up the items once again. I'll put it over there. So it's like this person is, whoever's sitting on this bench is reading. And then for the finishing touches, a bush. Oh, I did not want the bush there. I'm gonna plant some trees on the path just so that there's a three wide path. So that gives us like this space over here and I, oh no, they were just talking. They were just talking and I completely missed it. What did you say to him? Oh my God, and now he's following him. Wait, why, why are you all up in his back? Oh my God, separate right now. We are on camera. Poppy and Lopez are doing, they are doing too much at this point. Like, oh my God, they're going back for round two. Oh no, no, they, they did that on purpose. They did that on purpose to toy with me. It is 2023, Animal Crossing has been out for so long and my villagers are still trying it, man. Two years later, I've had this island for two years 
and they're still trying it. I can't believe Poppy though. Like Poppy, he's been here since June of 2021, right? Like I think the first villager hunt after my original 10, I found Poppy. So he's been here for a long time. And I feel like he's always been like one of the villagers that were kind of just there. I feel like in Fallbrook 3.0, he might slowly become a main character. And I am quite worried about that, all things considered. I'm going to plant more trees over, nope, not there, over here. Essentially, I'm doing the trees in the same pattern that I had it before. If that excites you, be excited. I'm gonna plant trees over here too. Just kind of create like a little secret path that heads to Nook's Cranny this time. Before it was to Able Sisters, now it's to Nook's Cranny. Azealia? Oh my god, I did not mean to stab you. I'm sorry. Hello. Sitting here and getting in touch with nature like this is so relaxing. <sighs> what? Where? My goodness, what was I saying? Mm hmm. Thank you, Azealia, for that. Okay, we'll grab these trees. I need four of them, and we have four of them right here. I'll grab an orange tree. I don't like really using a bunch of fruit as like tree decor, but I like to sprinkle them here and there just to add some pop of color. And also Fallbrook's native fruit is orange. So I like to use oranges specifically so it feels like, you know, they actually grow here naturally. I don't remember what the native flower for this island was. Was it Cosmos? I think it was Cosmos. Oh my gosh, why are these two walking in sync? Okay. <laughs> and then he just shoved her out of the way, Gonzo. Ooh, see, it's starting to come together quite nicely. I'm not too sure what I want to do in here. Maybe like a little picnic spot, because it, it's, it's like cute, you know? Maybe I'll do a picnic. I can't remember though. Are you able, with these designs, are you able to display them on the ground? Mannequin or painting, that's it. What if I press plus? No, you can't display them on the ground because these would have worked perfectly as like a picnic blanket. I guess I could just make a picnic blanket. <laughs> that's probably a good idea. So let's just do that real quick. We'll try and make like a gingham pattern. Maybe I'll do, can I change the palette? Is there like a more muted or neutral color? How do you do gingham? Like that, oh God. Am I doing it right? Is that working? I think it's working. Oh my God, this is so bad. This is why I always just use custom codes instead. Um. <laughs> oh my God. Let me just quickly get like a picnic blanket. This is too much effort, by the way, for a picnic blanket. Oh here, this one's better actually. Here, I'll use this one by Stool. Shout out to Stool or Stooly. I hope I said that right. I am using your pattern today. Here. That works, that does work, that's cute. Okay, then we shall do picnic designing. I wanted to put the beach towel and like customize it to be the same color, but honestly, like I kind of like the white instead. Yeah, that works. And then you can just like come and lie down, nap time. Um, I am realizing that I have this exact same situation right in front of Lopez and Poppy's house. And now I have it over here too, so. All right, I am clearly the king of using the same designs over and over again. You know what I'm thinking might be better? Instead of the beach towel, I have a mother's cushion, right? I'll put the cushion instead because it's something to sit on while you read your books and munch on your moon cakes. And then, oh, I think I'll sneak the blanket in over here instead. That's the yellow one. The yellow one does kind of work though. I know the perfect item to drop on top of the puddle. Isabel would be very mad and um, I promise I won't normally do this, but I am going to litter for the sake of my aesthetics by using an empty can. That's that area, done and dandy. This is cute, what I've come up with. Right by Nook's Cranny. It's a fun little summertime vibe. I like, yeah, the more I look at it, the more I'm just like, wow, this looks so cute. Like, can we just stare at this for a second? Ugh, the ants in this game, the way they just spawn out of the turnips. Like, yes, look at them go. This is such a cute like screenshot right over here. I live, I love ants. Ants are so cool. 
You know what I love about our friends? The fact that we can say something like, hey, we're going to douse you in ant pheromones. And they're just like, yeah, okay. They're so cool. Guys, what I'm about to say should surprise nobody. I've done more decorating off camera. And as you can see, the whole area is now complete. Ooh. I swapped out the drink machines and I instead did this like fake building shop sort of situation. This area as a whole by Town Hall, I'm kind of trying to make it a Main Street sort of feel. That's kind of what I was going for. So I figured having like a fake shop over here would make the area look more exciting and fun. And then I had this like awkward space over here. Comment down below if you thought I was going to put trees and a bunch of nature items because I did two of it at first. There's an area down there that I did, which kind of led this little awkward spot to kind of form. So I just put this truck here. I think it makes sense. I'm actually gonna keep it there. Surprisingly enough for me, <laughs> this is very minimal decorating, right? Like, look, there's like barely any custom designs on the ground, barely any items around. Like the fact that you can just walk around, crazy, right? And speaking of open spaces, Hi, Poppy. Look at the open space over here. The fact that I barely put anything on the rest of this stone path. Who am I? Like, this is a brand new era for me. Town Hall, I don't think I did it on camera, but I did add these like little light archways right by just to kind of give like a cute little entrance thing. And I put a little bank machine over here just so that, you know, you have easy access to your money. That's great and fun. Made some changes to Able Sisters. I moved like the clothing rack items to over here just so that kind of out of a way out of the way from like the rest of the parking lot so the trash cans are now over there um i think this just makes a lot more sense and it's cute it's like a nice shopping sort of thing right outside it's right by the beach once the beach is fully decorated which i really hope i manage to do this area will look amazing i know that for a fact now you're sitting right in front of melba's house he like the fireworks festival is tonight like i feel like he's like the type of boyfriend that gets ready right away and melba's the one who takes forever to get ready not that they're together yet because god knows what's going on there but like he's just patiently waiting for melba right outside instead of going in because he's shy maybe he's gonna hang out with melba tonight at the fireworks festival who knows did i make any other changes um, oh, I guess like a little update to the treehouse that I did earlier in the video. I kind of decorated the area in front of it. So now it looks like this, a lot more exciting, a lot more filling. And I did the tree glitch right over there. You know, the thing with like the water to like make the tree on the edge of the cliff instead. Lots of trees, lots of little likey things. Oh, and this, this area that I'm standing in, right. I did this, another just chill hangout zone. Comment down below how many times I've said that on this entire channel. I feel like every time I just have an awkward space on the island, I just make a cute little hangout zone. And then, ooh, like the best part about this is that now coming up here to Poppy's tree for it, like, oh, it just looks so nice. Like the trees are over here to give it that lush feel. And like the fact that you can actually like look out into like a fully decorated area now. This is so pretty. This is my island. <laughs> like, wow, I'm living for this in general. Like I really like how this island has just come out so far. And the fact that I've managed to do all of this in one day, whereas like the previous Fallbrook design, you know, that fake urban one, um, that took me like probably a week. I said one day, this took like about two days. Why am I lying? Yeah, the fact that I did all this in two days, by the way, it's safe to say that I am probably addicted to Animal Crossing again. Anyways, like I said before, it's the fireworks festival tonight. So we might as well spend the rest of the video hanging out with the villagers, seeing what everybody's doing. Poppy's here, screw Lopez. I was just thinking about how I wanted to see you. He said screw Lopez right in front of Melba just to let Melba know that he is, I was just thinking about you, thinking about seeing your face, your big old adorable round head. Oh my God, you're flirting with me right in front of Melba. Poppy, 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 what is going on with Poppy? I don't know how I feel about the new Poppy, by the way. I left Fallbrook for a few months and came back and this brand new Poppy just feels weird. It just feels weird. I need to know what's going on. Margie doesn't suck. I forgot I made her that her greeting because you know, the tea, they dated, they broke up, they got back together and now they're married. I like a tidy house as much as the next wolf, but cleaning gets to be such a bore, doesn't it? I read in a magazine that cleaning one's home too often isn't very eco-friendly. That's why it's important to take a break from cleaning. It's good for us and the environment, sugar. So true, Whitney, so true indeed. 
need. Isabel is here, right? I have to like redo the fireworks designs. We'll probably do that later. I thought the fireworks festival started at six, so I time traveled to like 5.30. Um, turns out they start at seven, but that's actually good because it gives us plenty of time to catch up with everybody, see what everybody's doing. And then we can figure out what we're gonna display for the fireworks and get ready for that whole spiel. I moved Wolfgang's house all the way over here with Azelia. Wolfgang, why are you wear, did you just like run a marathon? Why are you wearing this of all things? Wonder how much walking I've done on the island so far. Must be close to setting a record, buddy. He better not be wearing that to the fireworks festival today. Tonight, which speaking of, I'm gonna time travel to probably around like 6.30 because I need to make sure that my villagers are looking cute, okay? We're gonna find some outfits for everybody just to have, just in case, because I do not trust some of these villagers' fashion senses. Which speaking of poor taste, where's Agnes? I need to see her. Also, where's Azelia? Like, I feel like Azelia has kind of just been here. Oh my God, like I literally just walked right past her house and I didn't even think to think about her. I feel so bad for Azelia though, because like she moved in back in like March or whatever and ever since then like she's kind of just been here but like one thing did happen and this was like such a long time ago i scrolled through my photos just to look for this her and poppy speak of the devil they got into a fight and this was like the first week azalea moved in so i'm like 90 percent sure that because of poppy like everybody else just iced azalea out because ever since i haven't seen her She's just been here and she's been like such a loner. Now I know I said that I was gonna kick Azelia out to like, you know, bring Teddy back onto the island, but like she's gonna leave with bad blood with everybody. I feel, I just feel bad for Azalea and Poppy too. Like the fact that she got into a fight with Poppy and ever since like nobody's been talking to her, has Poppy always been a main character on this island and I just like never realized or something? Maybe it's because I left. Maybe it's because Teddy left too. Cause like I've noticed it, this whole thing just started like right after Teddy left the island, which was like back in January. Like even back then I noticed like Poppy every now and then like showing up more often. Poppy and Teddy were like best friends though, you know? But I guess in that relationship, like Teddy was always kind of more the main character compared to Poppy. So like, who knows? Maybe Poppy's kind of like in his Renaissance era right now. Maybe now that Teddy's gone, like maybe it's finally his time to flourish and shine, especially now that Melba's back on the island, who is Teddy's ex. And Poppy does believe in the bros before hoes mentality. So like maybe because, <laughs> maybe because Teddy's not here, he's just like, it's an opportunity for me to swoop in. But then like, he's also flirting with Lopez on the side. I don't know what's going on. I, I'm just so surprised that Poppy is like the character right now. I never would have expected that, especially coming back to the island. I thought it would have been Wolfgang or Agnes or something, but here we are, Poppy's just being Poppy. Where is everybody else? I went into the stores to look for people. Why are my villagers missing right now? All their houses are here, so like usually they would spawn near their houses. Oh, I see Gonzo over here. Hi, Gonzo, why are you all the way up here? Glad to see you, Vis. Oh, I just saw Agnes run in the background. Okay, why is everybody up here then? Nice walking weather, ain't it? And here I run into you, which has me feeling downright sunny. So true, Grandpa. Azelia and Agnes, here you two are in your default outfits. Azelia, do you have anything you'd like to say? <laughs> Like, Miss Girl has just been strolling the island by herself. My dear, isn't this weather divine? I tell you, clear skies like this make me feel like anything is possible. She's just trying to be optimistic. She's trying to be optimi- Oh, wait, she's- Oh! These two just said something to each other. Oh, no. Never mind. She's like, look, she's trying to say hi to them. But, like, <laughs> they don't give a fuck. She said hi to Agnes, and then Agnes just- turned around and ignored her. And Gonzo too, poor Azelia. Do these people not like her? Agnes, what is going on? I thought Azelia would fit in perfectly. This weather, why is everybody talking about the weather? What do y'all have against me? Talking about the weather? That's what you do with like your coworkers. I'm your best friend. Say something else. My mom sent me some fruit from home the other day. I thought I needed enough for two lifetimes. But the minute I opened the box and that smell hit me, so many memories, you know? Okay, thank God she's opening up right now. Oh, we're still close. We are still besties. I love knowing that I've got a home to go back to if I need it. That's why I'm cool with living out here alone. Aw. Agnes has a good relationship with her parents. 
I can relate. I don't know why you thought I wouldn't. Oh, Margie. Oh my God, Margie. I never see you up here. Hello. Why are you like hiding in the jungles? Oh, she's like probably like checking out all the gyroids and stuff. I'm about midway through pro level hide and seek. Oh, she's practicing how to hide. She read a hide and seek tutorial book and now she's learning the bit. She's actually like applying the knowledge. Okay, Margie, I fuck with that. We love a practical queen. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. And like speaking of the island right now, when it comes time to like get rid of this whole forest core area. Oh, this is going to be so painful. These waterfalls, the campsite, because like I want to get rid of all of this because this is kind of the aesthetic that I'm going for over on Camp Raddick instead, you know, a bunch of trees everywhere and such and like foresty vibes and the waterfalls and everything. I want like a bunch of hiking trails over there. And I'm basically planning on like continuing the theme thing that I'm working on around the rest of the island over here. So like, it's gonna be so painful getting rid of all of this and then having to like basically redo it over on Camp Raddick. This area, ugh. And like my house is back here. This is basically like my dream area in real life, having to like go through an entire forest just to get to my house all the way back here. Such a dream, such a dream for sure. Now, because the fireworks festival is soon. Um, oh my God, I'm gonna I actually play in the fireworks festival. Last time I did a fireworks festival was so long ago. I still have Julia and Sprockets photos here. I wanna swap out all of the faces um, just so that way, like it's updated with the current residents of the island. Um, so that way I can put their faces in the fireworks. Cause you know, you can give custom designs to Isabel. We need to find Melba's, Azelia's and Gonzo, right? I think those ones, and I'm missing a few of them too. So we're gonna do this live on camera. Let's start off with Melba because she recently moved in and she was the name that I said first. Oh, here, this one right here. I think this works perfectly. It matches. So shout out to Jihie from Meow. And then and it looked like I was missing Lopez's as well. I need to pay attention to that <laughs> so I can see whose faces I need. Thank you, Willing, for this design of Lopez. I am going to switch it with Julia's because I need to find Margie's to swap that road one with because that's the road design that I have at Whitney's house. Um, That's where Margie's photo was originally. I need to redo all my villagers homes too. Like specifically Whitney and Margie's now that I have their photos, I can actually put their photos in their houses. Okay, shout out to Bug from Mustard. Uh, fun name combo for this photo of Margie. Q. Oh, now I have to get rid of Teddy's photo. I don't want to get rid of Teddy's photo though, because in my heart of hearts, Teddy is still a Fallbrook resident. He's just currently staying over at Willow's. This island is currently full, so he's having like visa troubles. That's what he gets for spontaneously moving islands. Yeah, now he's stuck there. And you know, in order for him to come back, I'm gonna have to kick Azelia out, <laughs> which, ooh, will that be awkward having to do? Sophie, thank you for this photo of Gonzo. I don't know, but for the time being, like it would make sense to just kick out this photo of Teddy. Uh... No, I'm gonna keep it in the back burner just for now. Also, while I'm here, that photo of Agnes that I had, that was the one I originally found because I was like, I couldn't find one proper photo of Agnes. It's been two years. Is there a better photo of Agnes that I can use now? Oh yes, there's lots. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. This one works perfectly. Maya, thanks Maya. I'll find one of Azalea now. Ollie Bear, thank you, thank you very much. I don't wanna get rid of the photo of Sprocket either because like Sprocket, even though it's been so long since he left this island, RIP, like he still feels like a staple of the island, you know? He had such a big impact that it would feel weird to to let go of him just yet. And also, yes, it's because I have his face plastered around the island, so it would be weird to swap it with Azelia, who very much is filler queen. <laughs> it's the same reason why I kept Teddy's photo, by the way, because I have his face like planted around the island as well. If you visited the dream address, like you've probably seen some of them. There's one by Nook's Cranny that you can see now that it's cleared out. That was there the entire time. Let us swap these out. Oh my God, why is Whitney side-eyeing Azalea now? What is going on? Oh my God, they're like side-eyeing each other. They're having a mother off. I feel like they're just having a mother off in the plaza. That's what's going on. I'm gonna swap these out properly so that they're in a better order. When you think of Fallbrook, aside from me, I think the most important character out of everybody here would probably be Wolfgang because he is my favorite villager. I think Lopez right after Wolfgang would be very funny. So we'll do that. And then right after Lopez, I guess it would make sense to put Poppy. <laughs> 
<laughs> all things considered. I'll put Whitney right after Poppy because the two of them are best friends. So then obviously Margie would have to go right after her. And then I'll put Agnes, the unholy trinity together. I think Dobie can go after Agnes. And then after Dobie, we'll put Melba. Oh no, wait, I have to put Gonzo. Okay, we'll put Gonzo, then Melba. And then last but not least, we'll put Azalea as, you know, she is the newest resident. She's not the new, well, no, technically she is the newest resident because Melba used to live here. There, that's the order of fireworks. My high expectations have certainly been met. Thank you, Isabel. Sorry, I'm not open yet. Oh, why it's none other than my favorite cousin. How are you, this? Yeah, okay, shut up. <laughs> I don't know why I clicked on it. The Reds raffle at the fireworks festival, is it different from the one at the shopping district? I actually don't remember because I haven't done the fireworks festival since before the 2.0 update. So like, <laughs> who knows, who knows? What time is it currently? It's about 5.45, so, you know, the fireworks festival is about to commence. I'm quickly gonna prepare some outfits for my villagers, just in case. Like, we need to look through and get some cute outfits for the girls, just in case they show up in something ugly. Specifically, I'm worried about Agnes. I'll be honest, I'm worried about Agnes. She has interesting fashion tastes, let's just say that. So I do worry that she might show up in something a little Ugh. Um, <laughs> do I have anything in here? There wasn't really anything at Abel's that would look good on her. I saw that flower sweater right up here. I guess I could give that to her. Um, I'm gonna keep this fuzzy vest on hand just in case Dobie shows up coming ugly too. Can't have that. I'll give this t-shirt to Wolfgang just in case. Those really are the three that I'm currently worried about. Everybody else, you know, like Margie and Whitney, I have high hopes for. Lopez, I don't give a fuck about. And Poppy as well, like I only ever given him like clothes that look good on him. So I don't think he would show up in anything ugly. Oh my God, oh my God, everybody's at the plaza. Okay, okay, people are showing up in good outfits, but they might change, but so far it looks good. It looks good. I, I might be able to trust my villagers for once. Here we are. It's officially time for the fireworks festival. I hope there's a lot of villagers, especially like all the besties, like Wolfgang, Flop. Oh, see, everybody's here. Everybody is here. Okay, okay, the outfits? The outfits are fine. Lopez, why are you wearing a, a like you're just wearing an athletic jacket? I thought you of all people would try to show off something. Agnes, you're wearing a cute dress. Oh my God. I knew I should have just trusted you. You look so good. I've been meaning to get my hands on a mountain bike. Well, nobody else is here, so. Do not steal. Do not steal that mountain bike. That might not be yours. Excuse me, no committing crimes tonight of all nights. Flop, why are you wearing this? You are wearing this of all things? What is going on? I'm just making it up as I go along, but I know one thing for sure. Moving to Fallbrook was the best decision I ever made because, okay, I was gonna help him by giving him a better outfit, but if he's gonna continue flirting with me in front of everybody now, like you're getting extra bold. Enough. Dobie, grandpa, did you hear that? Like, what is this? Melba. Melba's here, but Poppy's not here. Oh my God, Poppy's home. Why is Poppy home? The fireworks festival is gonna start in like five minutes. No, <gasps> he got shy. He got nervous because both of them are here in the plaza and he feels flustered. I wouldn't want to say that he's two timing them, but like maybe he has been two timing them and now he doesn't want to confront them. Oh my God, and speaking of confront, like here we have the three. <laughs> <laughs> Both of my exes here in the plaza, Wolfgang and Lopez, and Teddy's not here. That is such a shame. Wolfgang and Lopez are here, but not Teddy. But at least I'm here with my grandpa. Hello, grandpa. Hello, grandchild. I was hoping I'd see you. What do you say we set out across the sea to find undiscovered lands? Can we go to Willow so I can pick Teddy up? <laughs> I'd rather do that. I can't stand it. I need to get a better outfit for Lopez. I'm gonna be taking pictures tonight, you know? So like Lopez can't be here looking crusty. Like he literally looks like he was just working out and then he just like quickly ran to the plaza. Emergency outfit change for Lopez specifically. What can I give him? What in here screams Lopez? I'm giving him this hawk jacket. Fine. Lopez, for once, for once, I'm doing you a favor. If you so God, tell anybody about this. I'm gonna take your antlers and toss you into the fucking ocean. I can't let you give me something this good for free. Let's see if I have anything decent to give you. Aha, how about a PJ outfit? Enough with the invites. I am not going to have a sleepover at your house. Okay, the father and the son are just having a little bonding sesh right in front of everybody. Everybody's here. Everybody's having a great time. 
Um, oh, everybody's very close. Let's just say that. There's still five minutes left. What is Poppy doing? Why is Poppy home? Everybody, literally like everybody's in the plaza except him and Azealia as well, I guess. Oh, I don't blame Azealia for staying home though. If nobody likes her on the island. Poppy, and you're wearing like a nice leather jacket too. You look so good. <laughs> Why are you home? The coolest part about hanging out with you is that you remind me a lot of my favorite things. Bugs, because they're funny. TV, because it makes me happy. And warm soup, because it calls me to- I remind you of bugs? I get that it's a compliment from you, but like... Okay. I get it. I get it, though, that you're shy right now. But like, come out to the plaza. I'll be there. Whitney will be there. Like, don't stay in here. I'll tell Lopez and Melba to go home if you want. Let them both go home. You don't have to see either of them if that's all right with you. That's what happens when you play too hard. He flew too close to the sun, thinking he can juggle two different romances at once. In secret, by the way. If he at least just told both of them that he was seeing both of them, this wouldn't have been so awkward. Now that both of them are here waiting for him, but of course he's not gonna show. Oh my God, speaking of people missing, Agnes, where did she go? The bike's still here, so at least she's not committing a crime. Wait, there's a fly on the can. That's the main reason why I like to leave out trash. So flies spawn, fun fact. They also spawn on turnips, but it's a better chance of getting them on flies since ants also spawn from rotten turnips. Where did Agnes go? She was outside, right? She's not home. She just ran away from everybody. Excuse me, I was just raving to Poppy that everybody is in the plaza and she just decided to bail? No, where did she go? Oh, there you are. Why are you over here? You again. Is this island not big enough for the both of us? Um, okay. Say something more original. Aren't flowers rad? I started reading this big book on them and I'm learning a lot of stuff. Like for instance, did you know there's all kind of meanings and symbols and junk around flowers? Girl, the fireworks festival is about to start. I love your hyperfixation on flowers, do you? But like, okay, come on, come back to the plaza. Come, let's go, let's hang out with everybody else. Oh my god, and like speaking of, oh, no, she doesn't, I was about to say like she doesn't really have anybody aside from like me and the gang, like she doesn't have a girlfriend anymore. It would be nice for Agnes to get a girlfriend too. They do have beef, her and Melba. Oh, maybe that's the reason why she's not in the plaza because Melba's here. Melba, you're ruining everything for everyone. Poppy and Agnes, neither of them are here. Why are these two all up in each other's businesses? Hello, oh my God, look, everybody's like waiting. <laughs> they're all ready and they're looking forward. This is so cute. They're looking at the clock. There's one minute left before the fireworks start. Whitney is looking at a tree over here instead. Gonzo too. This really is just like an awkward waiting game right now. One more minute until the clock chimes. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh my God. And just like that, it's time to start looking up all. The fireworks show has just begun. Yay. Oh my God. Have they started? Have they started? Ooh, they have started. Yeah, like I said, the fire. Oh, wow. The fireworks man in this game. Absolutely gorgeous. Horrible place to view them. By what? Now that I think about it, like you're, the resident surface building is covering the fireworks. Never mind. Whitney and Gonzo. What? What? What do you want? Hey, I got something for you. It's sparkly and bright, but it's not a sequined jackhammer give up. It's a sparkler. Of course he had to give me this of all people. And you know, he had that in his pocket, ready to go right at seven o'clock so that he could give it to me. I will make sure that Teddy moves back onto the island before you try anything even harder. But ooh, this sprinkler, cute. Oh, I forgot you can't move around while lighting. Oh my God, Melba, move out of the way. Oh my God, Wolfgang too. Why are they coming up to me while I'm lighting a sparkler? Do you want me to burn your shit? I actually have a lot of goodies in my storage. I guess I should have pulled all those out so that we can actually like play with them and stuff. Like we have a light stick right here. I have like a balloon. Maybe I'll have a balloon ready to go. Do I not have any sparklers? Oh, I don't have sparklers. I thought I did. Okay, so maybe Lopez. Oh wait, I do. They're right here. Never mind. I was about to praise I was about to praise them. It must take a lot of time and coordination to put together a big event like this one. All the more reason to enjoy it to its fullest cherry pie. I agree, Malva. Yes, I do. Dolby Grandpa, hello. That's a lot flashier than I was expecting it to be. This is gonna be something else, Shooter. And can I just commend Wolfgang, Dolby, and Whitney for being here? Because you know dogs, they're usually afraid of loud noises and stuff. Oh my God, look, Dolby. <laughs> He's lighting Wolfgang's ass on fire. Like, 
have y'all started drinking already without me? What is this? Why is everybody with the wrong person? Why is everybody making out with Margie, by the way? Everybody except for, you know, her actual wife is making out with her. What is up with that? Oh, Belba, Belba, you want to go in now too? Like <laughs> the way she's eyeing her. Oh my God. Margie, the talk of the town tonight. Are you drunk? Look, Butterbean, look. No, not at me. Look up at the sky. It's dazzling, Cherry Pie. Sights like these always take my breath away. Like she is drunk. She's the type of drunk girl to like go and make out with everybody too. Oh my God. Excuse me. I'm trying to... Of course, Lopez is in my way. Step right up. Step right up to Red's raffle. Only 500 bells a ticket. Knickknacks, paddywhacks. I don't remember how the rest of that goes. Knickknack, paddywhacks, spin the horse around. I don't. Whatever. You know what? Sure. Let's play around with the raffle for a bit. Yeah, what does it give you aside from the items over at Thing? Oh, no. These give you different items. Okay. I think these just give you like the fans and the sparklers and stuff. Okay. Let's do a few. Let's see if I can get some fireworks. Ooh, bubbles. Oh, bubbles. Remember when she used to live on the island? Number one, I got myself another red sparkler. Thank you, Red. Thank you. Thank you, Red, for your service. I will not be speaking to you for the rest of the night. Oh, Dobie's sitting down. He's taking a break. I, that's fair, Grandpa. That's fair. Where's Agnes? I saw her. I'm pretty sure these two just made out with each other. Margie, if Whitney's all right with it, I won't complain anymore. But like, girl, please slow down with the drinks. The night has just begun. You have all night to get lit. Agnes, what are you doing over here in the corner? Let's do this. Come on. Those fireworks shouldn't be the only thing making noise, Crumple. I think she was like getting zooted. Maybe that's why she's by herself. Look at her. She's literally headed back to the corner. Yeah, that girl is doing hard drugs. Look, she's... Oh my God, she is. She is... <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> I know she's just lighting a sparkler. It literally looks like she's like taking shots or like cracking open beers and shotgunning them or something. That's what it looks like. The wolves are here by themselves. I love this little wolf corner. The fireworks show has begun. You should try counting out many of them shoot off. Counting fireworks will help you stay awake, I hear. I'm pretty sure the loud booms from the fireworks will keep me awake. And it's a good thing too that I decorated the fire. Oh, Margie's face. <gasps> Oh, I looked up at the perfect time. There's Agnes. And it's so perfect that I managed to decorate my plaza right before. Uh, so like we can actually celebrate in a fully decorated area. So it's not like super duper awkward. Oh my gosh. It probably looks really cool from the beach too. If only all these houses weren't in the way. I will let it be known though. I do love the fireworks in this game, but I am anti-firework in real life. This is the only way I prefer celebrating fireworks. All the girls are together. Melba, Whitney, and Margie, Gonzo, Gonzo and Doby, the two grandpas looking after the children. What a ruckus. I can't even hear myself think over this noise. Unless I'm thinking of fireworks, that is. Gonzo's just like me too. I don't blame you for hating loud noises. I remember when I was a kid, like I used to be afraid of fireworks. Fireworks. <laughs> oh, he walked away as soon as I came up. Oh my God, the two of them were there. And then I walked in and he just realized what he was doing, Wolfgang. Me and you aren't as close as before, but like I still have your back and I'm here to tell you not a good idea, Wolfgang. Not a good idea. Like I'd rather you make out with Margie than go back to Lopez. Trust, trust and believe. Melba, hello once again. Look, this, look. No, not at me. Look up at the sky. It's simply dazzling. Oh my God, she's drunk too. She's drunk too. She's literally just copying Margie. Everybody's getting lit and turned up at the place. Plaza, except for Poppy and Azealia. I mean, I guess we'll go say hey to Azealia first. Like she's all the way back home by herself. She didn't even bother to like make her way to the plaza. Where is she? Yeah, she's literally home. Azealia, I promise you nobody. Wait, let me wait for the game to load so I can actually say this to her. Azealia, oh, she's just sitting at home alone by the fire, by the fireplace reading a book. I'm so very happy you stopped by. See, like she's alone. She's so alone that she's happy I came. Why this? You 
You simply must let me tell you about this new reality show I've been watching. Oh, if you're obsessed with the reality show, if it's Jersey Shore especially, oh, I know she's in a dark place right now. It delves deep into the wild and crazy life of a beloved yet ru controversial rugby star. Of course, I don't normally go in for stories about rugby, but I confess I find the show enthralling. It nearly inspired me to try the sport itself. Alas, I'm allergic to sweating. I suppose it just wasn't meant to be. Oh my God, Azealia. Uh, please put the book down. This is coming from an introvert, someone who prefers staying at home too during big events. You're on the island. There's only nine other people, 11 other people, including me and Isabel. Like, come on, at least try to socialize with everybody else. I promise nobody hates you. I promise nobody's thinking about that big fight you had with Poppy. Try to make it out tonight, please. Do it for me. I invited you onto this island for a reason. Huh. <sighs> I know I said I was going to kick you out for Teddy. I promise I didn't actually mean that, by the way. Um, you can stay here as long as you like. Unless you want to leave, then so be it. You can do that. This looks so funny, by the way, when I have face cam on, because it's like, you can actually see me talking. <laughs> oh my God. The fact that this is how I used to do my videos. And like, this was before my face cam days. God, that's going to look awkward as hell during editing, isn't it? For me. <laughs> And speaking of awkward as hell, Poppy, how awkward is it that you're at home when both of your dates are waiting for you in the plaza? What is going on? You put on your nice red jacket too, and you're just hiding out at home. Thanks for coming to see me again. Yeah, I'm just checking up on you. You know what? Like, if you're not going to celebrate the party, like... <laughs> Let me at least like give you something to like have fun like here take my sparkler take my sparkler and come get lit with me Am I really getting a blue sparkler? Well, thanks a million. I never thought I'd get to play with one of these thingies again after last time Oh, maybe it was a bad idea for me to give him that god poppy, please Please don't light that in the house. I spent hours decorating this for you. Do not ruin my masterpiece The night is starting to get darker and the girls are girling it out in the plaza. Ooh, and like, it's so perfect that I have this tree fort ready to go because look at the views. Oh, this is perfect. Oh yeah, with the fireworks, bam. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, these shots, these shots are impeccable. I could just stay here and just stare. Like, can I get my face out of the way? Sorry, like, look at this. <laughs> This is my island, my new and improved Fallbrook Island, and it looks so good. Like, yeah, wow. Oh, wow, with the sparklers. I'm waiting for their faces to show up again, by the way. Fireworks are pretty, though. I will say that they're just so bad for the environment. Not just because of the pollution, but also just because they're so fucking loud. And like I said before, like I used to be afraid of them and people thought I was afraid of them for the loud noises, but like I have really sensitive ears. So like loud noises when I was a kid made my head actually hurt. <laughs> and that's why I would start crying and everybody just thought it was because of fear. Yeah, I love looking at fireworks, but I prefer like watching videos or like Animal Crossing instead. Yeah, in Animal Crossing, they have no like horrible environmental impact. So I can enjoy them for as much as I want here. And I have like the perfect viewing spot too. I mean, it is Poppy's technically, it's not mine, but like I made it for him, so I can go there whenever I want. Okay, you know what? Like we're gonna time travel like further into the night. Like let's go to around like 9 p.m. because I wanna just like see if Poppy will actually show up, please. And like Azelia as well. Oh, look, Poppy showed up for a bit. Okay, at least he did show up and Lopez is there too. Ooh, maybe they did have some time to themselves after I left. Is it me? Am I the reason why he didn't show up? Cause it does seem like I'm the only one who knows that he's a two timing little. It's not like I would whistle blow or like confront him about it in front of everybody. Like do your own thing as long as everybody's okay with it. You know, like who am I to sit here and tell you how to live your life? But maybe he's keeping it a secret because people aren't okay with it, like I said. Which if that's the case, Poppy, you need to choose. You need to choose before somebody else gets hurt. Please tell me Azealia, Azealia's still home. Oh my God, this poor woman, please. This is getting sad now, man. She's not even gonna bother to come. Like, are people really giving her that hard of a time? Okay, thank you, Lopez, for actually changing into like something. That's more your speed. Um, I really do hate the fact that we are twinning. We're both wearing blue and green, but like, sure. Hey, I gotta say, I really like the way I look in these lights of the fire. Oh my God, he's just like me for real. Has anyone ever lit and filmed an entire TV series using fireworks? 
interesting concept. Um, great, great starting point, Lopez. I, I have nothing to say about that. That really just was a statement that came from Lopez. <gasps> Poppy's left his house. Okay, so at least Poppy is out and about. And Lopez isn't at the plaza right now. Oh my God, Lopez isn't at the plaza, but Melba is. Melba's at the plaza. Gonzo is blocking the way. I literally can't push him out of the way. He's staring at the fireworks. Grandpa, move. You're holding up the line. <laughs> Poppy's in there. Poppy and Melba, they're hanging out and they're twinning. They're both wearing blue. Margie has changed. I think she threw up on her last outfit. So like Whitney had to quickly run home and get her this like little PJ set. Gonzo was literally in the way. I'm gonna have to go around. Oh my God, speaking of, I think Whitney went back home to like wash Margie's clothes. Wolfgang is wearing a jacket. Like everybody's getting turned up right now where did poppy go poppy poppy you showed up thank you see like you're having a great time right now too the sky becomes a bunch of crazy mashup beautiful colors when a bunch of fireworks go off at once i bet the moon's up there thinking whoa what's going on down there folks because i dig it yeah he zooted us hell too Wolfgang, why are you wearing a rain jacket? Whoa, that one was huge. Did you see it, Maximum? You can't take your eyes off the sky for a second. There's so much going on up there, buddy. Like, everybody's drunk. Yeah, everybody's drunk. This might be worse than festival, y'all. Everybody is drunk, except for me. Wow. <laughs> like, for once, I'm not- Oh my god, Wolfgang, like, right by this wooden post? Dude, do not cause a fire. Not again. Not after the last time. You know what, though? Like, I might as well join in. Like, if everybody's gonna get lit, like, why don't I do it? Here. Here, Melba's getting lit. Like, I'll get lit with her. Yes! Yes, look at us getting lit in front of Red together. Woo! We're having a competition. Oh, she stopped. Okay. But like cute, this is so fun. Where's Agnes? Did Agnes go home? I guess Agnes went home too, right? Whitney's probably home. Oh no, Whitney's not home. Wait, where's Whitney? Whitney's missing. Oh my God, red alert, red alert. Whitney is missing. She went home to go wash Margie's clothes and now we can't find her. Wait, you guys. You guys wait right here. I will go look for her. I will go look for her. I don't want to spoil your fun. Where could she have gone? She also couldn't have gone that far. I literally can't find her. I'm looking everywhere. She is nowhere to be found. Is she up here? Like she's not up here either. Why would she be though? Who's that? That's Lopez all the way down by the lake by himself. Okay, you do you. Oh, there you are. Girl, why are you all the way up here? If I had to choose between a gift of 100 fireworks or of a gift of 100 roses, why I would choose the fireworks, of course. Though, darling, the gift giver should really consider tossing in those roses as well. Everybody's getting messy at this point. Like, what is happening? What is happening to my villagers? How have, like, how have they even been ever since I left? Wolfgang, you were at Willow with me, right? Like, you came back before I did. Like, have they always been this crazy? Since I left, I don't understand what is going on. I don't think I've ever met anyone who's taken a photo of the fireworks they end up liking, Shooter. Still, I was told the Nook phone had a fancy camera of some type. Is this like a tutorial? During the fireworks, the game is giving me a tutorial. Okay, well, speaking of taking photos, like now that the night is darker, the colors would look better. So let's come back up here. Ooh, more firework photos. Okay, let's wait for the fireworks to go. Oh, I my sparkler's already going. Okay, please let the fireworks come. Oh my God, Wolfgang. Wolfgang, Lopez, Poppy. Why are they all over there? There's Whitney. See, I would rather Whitney get the spotlight. Margie, Agnes as well. Hell yeah. Dobie behind the trees. Gonzo, Melba, Azealia. Yes. Oh, that looked cool. That did look cool. I need one to be like right by the moon for the perfect shot, especially. Oh, yeah. Especially with the balloon in the background. This is the money. Sh that's the money shot. Oh, my gosh. Bam. Thank you, Nintendo, for making such a beautiful game. OK, I guess I should go pop that balloon now. Yeah, that's a good idea. What is in this balloon? I hope it's money. Oh, it is money. Oh, <laughs> okay. Everybody, oh my God, Poppy, Melba, excuse me, the two of you need to move out of the way. Let these two have their moment. Lopez is nowhere to be found. So like, again, as long as he knows. Oh, Doby, I'm, okay, like I was stuck. Here's a notion. If you need to get a big secret off your chest, try yelling it out as soon as the firework goes off. Even if nobody else hears you over the noise, it's still good practice for if you ever want to say it for real. Poppy definitely should be doing that considering this big secret he's been keeping. Melba walked away. Where is she? Oh no, she's right over here. Hello. Wow. Double wow, triple wow, extra wow. Oh my God. Like she is yelling. Melba is not normally so. 
That's a lie. Mel is always fighting the girls. Who am I to say, who am I to say that? She literally has beef with Agnes. Marjorie, on the other hand, I'm so surprised to see her yelling. Whitney has made her way back to the plaza. Thank you, Whitney, for doing that. My pearls. It seems like everyone is absolutely glued to the fireworks show. I love it. Seeing everyone's happy faces lit up by those bursts of light, it gives me a big old gaze of the smiles. So true. Isabel, I haven't talked to you all night. The fireworks show has begun. It begun two hours ago. I guess I should have talked to her back then. I'm glad you made it this. I have a little something for everyone as part of today's event. Oh yeah, she gives you boppers. <gasps> I completely forgot about that. Flower boppers. Yes, and they're blue. Ooh, they match my outfit. Oh, hell yeah. This is this is the outfit. This is the moment. I am the star of the show tonight. I do wish, though, that there was more to do at the fireworks festival. Like, yeah, it's just like a nice, cute little moment. But like, yeah, there's red raffle. That's fun. But I wish there was like some incentive to at least try and come like imagine if red had like a lottery like if you show up to all four events that's like four times your name gets entered into the ballot for a chance to like win a prize or something and then you can win like various prizes Ooh, because in new leaf oh my god i'm remembering this in new leaf there used to be like exclusive items that you would get from the fireworks show right there was like specific nintendo items that would that you'd be able to get oh and there was that talking phone that would give you psychic readings i don't remember how you get them but it, i think it was from red's raffle you used to get like secret special items you would get like specific tickets and they could give you the box figurine which was like a doll the love tester and the lovely phone the lovely phone was the psychic reading phone the 10 billion barrel the ultra hand the ultra machine the ultra scope lovely phone see look at that phone the lovely series as a whole the fact that that's not back in new leaf either missed opportunity there to bring these back oh well the game is three years old at this point like do we they have they stopped updating the game like <laughs> god do you know what else this has me really excited for though the pokemon update the Pokemon DLC. What is it called? Kitakami, the one with Ogre Pond, the first one. What is it called? The Green Mask? Because that takes place in the summertime as well. I really wish though that they brought that update now. Like it could have been a perfect time to bring it in August because the fireworks festival in Japan happened in August. Also it's a summer abroad trip, so like summertime. But at the same time though, realistically speaking, it's a good thing that they are making it later in the year. Um, a, because holiday sales, and B, because Nintendo, or not Nintendo, but Game Freak specifically needs as much time as they can to design these games because we need those workers <laughs> to have at least a year, man, especially with Scarlet and Violet and the performance. Like, I would rather they have an extra year to work on the DLC so that there aren't as many glitches. Although, let's be honest, there are Why was she staring at the pole? Agnes. Agnes, are you at home with the munchies right now? What is going on? The neighbor kid back home really looks up to me. I kind of wonder how he's been holding up. When I was packing up to move out, I gave him an old, beat up copy of Giving New Life to Furniture. I guess he liked it because he sent me a letter that he'd read it something like 29 times. Honestly, I can never make it past the first chapter, Crumple. Miss Girl is at home zooted out of her mind, reminiscing about her childhood while eating an ice cream cone. She's living the best life. Where? is Azealia. We need to go, like, Azealia. Azealia, please, girl, please. I had such high hopes that she would actually come out tonight, but, like, she's choosing to stay home, and obviously, like, I don't want to force her to come if she doesn't want to, but, like, I feel like she's staying home out of fear, not because of, like, she just doesn't want to come. Like, I think she does want to come. She's just holding back right now. It's Azealia. She's a baddie. Like, she is a snooty villager. Of course she likes to be socialized and out and having fun times. I presume you like to visit because you find my home both stylish and comfortable. No, I'm trying to drag your ass out to the party. Buddy, pardon my language, but is that a fly? Oh my God, she wants my fly? It's a little ghost for me to even ask, but would you consider selling it for 90 bucks? You want, you are at home willing to spend money on a house fly. Azealia, girl, this is low. This is low. This is absolutely low. Low. She just spent 90 bells on a housefly. If it was any other bug, okay, but a housefly? You can just leave out some trash and three of them will spawn. Why did you just buy one off of me? Azealia, I thought you were better than this. You are trashier than Poppy with that move. Even Poppy wouldn't spend money on a bug. Azealia, I, I, I really don't, I don't know what to say about that. A housefly? Again, if it was any other bug, 
any other bug in the game I would understand, but a house fly? I can't believe she just did that. I can't believe that just happened. I had so many other things in my pockets, but the fly, the fly is what she wanted. At least she finally showed up to the plaza. At least she's finally there. <laughs> Please, she was at the plaza in the lock screen. Please tell me she's still there. Azelia, I have such high hopes. Like, come on, girl, I believe in you. I believe you can muster up the courage to show your face in the plaza. And like, you'll have a good time. I promise you will. No, nope, she went back home. Okay, you know what? At least she left. At least she left the house. So I'll applaud her for that. I applaud you. Even if I wasn't there to see it, I know she did it. So Azelia, I'll leave you alone now. Oh my God, Lopez, what the fuck are you? Oh my God, <gasps> they're all here. <laughs> all three of them. Oh my God, do they know? Do they know that Poppy's seeing both of them? And I love that the grandpas are still here in the plaza too, Gonzo and Dobie. They spent the whole night. They stayed up past their bedtime and everything. Lopez, by the way, what are you wearing? Of course he had to pull out the pink blazer. Melba, I just wish I could stay in this moment forever and ever. It's all just so beautiful. There's nothing like a grand finale to get the waterworks going, is there? I agree. Oh my God, Whitney's still here too. Oh! <gasps> Whitney pulled out the best look for the last hour. Oh my God, the power blazer. Oh, snaps from me, Whitney. She did that, she did that. These beautiful fireworks won't go on for much longer. I confess I'm gonna miss the way they light up my face so prettily. Oh my God, just like me as well. Like she knows she looks good right now. She knows she looks good right now in that power suit. Poppy and Melba, ooh, look at them hanging out. Look at them hanging out and Lopez is nowhere near them right now. Do we think Poppy made his decision between the two of them much to think about indeed but like the two of them are together hey poppy now that we're coming up on the end of the show i gotta ask any favorites i really want to know because i'm secretly hoping we have the same ones baby mm -hmm. Ooh, melba's walking away she's oh she's looking at lopez too <gasps> are they dating oh my god is that a new couple on the island <laughs> maybe poppy's made his decision <gasps> Oh my God, like she is staring at Lopez. She is staring at Lopez. She's like, hmm, he chose me. And Lopez, oh, that side eye he just gave, he's walking up to Poppy. <gasps> he's walking right past Poppy. He's like, you chose wrong. When Lopez, I assure you, Poppy chose right. You are never the correct option. He's staring at Poppy. Look, he's literally staring at Poppy and he is walking away. He's checking out Melba. He's checking out Melba, his opponent, that he just lost. And now he's acting like that didn't hurt him. I think Poppy just made his decision. I feel like Poppy and Melba might be dating. Ooh, new couple alert. <laughs> How can the fireworks be almost done? I was just starting to get into it. Oh, Gonzo, Grandpa, it's okay. Do we think Gonzo and Melba are related, by the way? Alfred, I just randomly introduced that in right now. Gonzo and Melba are related. Maybe Melba's like his niece or something. <gasps> Look, he's showing off his sparkling skills for Melba. Melba, don't walk away. Watch your boyfriend, since that's what he is. Watch him. Look, look. Okay, no, she's walking away. She probably just wants her space. Oh, she's gonna, maybe she's gonna tell Whitney. Her and Whitney are pretty close. Maybe she's gonna tell Whitney that she has a boyfriend now. Poppy, I'm happy for you too. I'm happy you made up your mind. I can't believe I just sat here for the last hour just saying shit and like making up stories of my villagers. Like, look at this, this silly little game. Even in 2023, I'm still out here making headcanons for my villagers. That's just how I am. Like, this is how I have fun in the game. Oh, what a way to end the video. Poppy making out with my grandpa. And that happened on camera. It, yeah, everybody is, everybody's lit. Everybody's drunk. The, the fireworks foe is about to end in like 20 minutes. It's like that point, like the highs and the buzzes are all starting to cool down. Clearly not for Poppy though, since he just landed himself a new girlfriend. And then he just went to go make out with, like everybody here on this island is just close with each other, huh? The way they're willing to just make out with each other and not feel any remorse or any sort of awkwardness. Like, that's how you know we're all family. Not that you should make out with your family. That was a bad way to end the video. <gasps> Lopez and Melba, oh my God. He just like, like Melba was walking and then Lopez purposely just shoved her out of the way. The two of them are definitely beefing. Yes, they are. Oh, and Melba and Poppy, they're hanging out together. I hope it's not awkward when Teddy comes back because, you know, Teddy and Poppy are best friends. Teddy and Melba used to date. Oh man, when Teddy comes back, will that be? A journey. I spent this entire weekend, because by the way, it's Sunday. What? It's like the week before. It's Sunday, July 30th. But I just spent like this whole weekend playing Animal Crossing. 
I don't know why. <laughs> like all of a sudden I just had an Animal Crossing buzz that I needed to fulfill and I just spent it on Fallbrook. This was fun. This was so fun. I love this island, man. I've had this island for two years. Two years is a very long time. So much has changed since. The fact that I still have Fallbrook, Fallbrook has literally seen like this channel grow because when I started this island, I had like about 2000 subs and now I have almost 100K. Like. <laughs> That's wild. That's absolutely wild. I had so many opportunities to reset this island. I didn't. I didn't. I literally bought a second switch so that I couldn't because like I said, I just love this island and it's safe to say that this island will not be going anywhere. So yeah. You know what the worst part is too, is that like I'm done decorating for this video, but like I already have plans for like the next thing. Like I want to put a house up here. I want to create like a path down by resident services and continue that up on this way. I have ideas already for where I want to put my museum. Like I just started a brand new island and <laughs> I'm already back to decorating on this one before Camp Braddock. I guess I'm going to be working on two islands at once. That's going to be fun because I don't think I've ever done that before. Let's hope I don't reset Camp Braddock during the process. Hey guys, I'm coming in at the end of the video. I'm about to start editing and um, <laughs> pray to me as I edit this. Oh my gosh, is this going to be an event? Wow, this is the biggest recording I've ever done and it was for an Animal Crossing video. You cannot say I hate this game. You cannot. Don't ever question my love for Animal Crossing here on 4th.